Hey, Kyle here. In this video, I wanna share with you one of my favorite tools for deep work and getting into states of flow when you're working. So this tool is called Slash and allows you to slash right through your to-do list and prioritize right inside the tool. And it creates this seamless flow from one task to the next where you can block out your distractions and you can work in focused states of immersion. So it can help train you to not do context switching and multitasking simply because you have a very clear focus and you have that seamless flow from one task to the next without having to stop and deliberate about what you're gonna do next. So I really love Slash. I think it's a really great tool. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it to get more flow in your life and focus more on doing deep work when you need to get things done. All right, let's do it. Okay, so let's jump right in and see how to use Slash to improve your focus and productivity. So down here, there's a Slash icon. This is what the interface looks like. It has dark mode by default, which I like. And here are my tasks for today. So you see what I've done is just for my three websites, I've set up the projects under each website. You can also set them up here as full projects as well and have individual tasks under the projects. And you can schedule uh, on a calendar, you know, your deadlines and whatnot. So I just have three tasks here. And the reason for that, I use these tasks every day, again and again. And the reason for that is because I use Asana for managing my team and managing myself. And it's all in Asana, all the communication with people. So I have to use Asana. And they don't quite integrate with Asana yet. They've recently added Trello integration. But when they integrate with Asana, I will be integrating all my tasks here as well. But for now, this is what I'm doing. And essentially, I'm using this as a flow session, as immersive 90 minute sessions where I'm just working on a single important task for each of my website businesses. So let me take a look here. This is the stats they give you. So let's just look at 90 days. And you see, you know, I heard about it on Product Hunt in early uh, October and I started using it, but I never got in the full habit of using it, even though I love it, simply because of the lack of the Asana integration, um, which is coming, like I said. And you can go in here and you can also see the Eisenhower matrix. So this is based on something that was developed by, I think, Dwight D. Eisenhower, the U.S. president uh, in uh, the 50s. And this is how he, you know, managed the urgency of tasks and the prioritization uh, as a president of the United States. Um, so here you have important, urgent, urgent, important, neither. You can read about this online, um, how it works. Uh, it's a really cool system of prioritization. And you can here um, give it away to people. So you can get more tasks uh, and not have to pay by sharing it with your friends. And I think they give you 50 tasks by default. It's freemium. And then after that, I think they want $4 a month, which I think is very reasonable. Um, but if you want to not pay and you want to just invite people instead, you can do that. And then down here, I like this a lot. It shows that the team behind this is actively working on it. Um, and they're asking people for what they want, which is how things work these days. You know, in, in using your users to get their feedback and improve the experience for them and, and create these amazing, you know, brand experiences where people love your product because you listen to them. So I love this. You can vote on things. Something's missing here you think would be better if it was in this app. You can easily uh, request it here and get people to vote on it and stuff. So really cool. Um, and then let me show you how it works. So I, I choose my task and I can set here um, the, the prioritization and deadlines as well. Hit start slashing, boom. And then it has this, which I love. You know, it just reminds you that no, I'm not working on checking the news or Facebook. I'm working on my website. So I think this is great that it has that reminder. Don't like it, boom, it's gone. And then you go down here, you can get, get it back and then you hit pause, it comes open again. So pretty cool, fun little interface. And then up here is very important because you get all your settings. So they have an app as well. I think it's for iPhone and Android. Um, doesn't do too much, but might be better in the future. Um, here we have open slash login. Do this right away. I'm not sure if it's set by default, but if it opens that login, you're gonna build the habit of using it. Um, as well here, you can have it show after you, uh, you know, open your computer and you may get sucked into Facebook or YouTube and you want to actually do work, you can have it right when you wake up your computer. 
Uh, and you can set some different options here, hiding the dock icon. You can show the task in the menu bar up top. Boom. If you like to do navigation that way. And then you can hide the focus bar, comes up at the bottom. You can remove the success screens, which are awesome. They're these funny animated GIFs. They did a really good job. A uh, really good thought behind the uh, reward of the success screens. And then the Pomodoro technique, they build that right in. And there's a lot of Pomodoro technique apps. I've tried a lot of them. Um, some are great. Uh, most aren't that good. This one I think is one of the best ones because it gives you so much flexibility in adjusting the length. Because the 25 minutes of focused work provided, followed by the five minute break works well for some people. It doesn't work for me. I flow at 90 minute sessions. And that's what works for my uh, inclinations. Um, so I do it that way. I set that up, but um, you can set up, you know, 10 minute flow sessions if you want, or, you know, the 25 default for Pomodoro. And then every uh, session, you get a five minute break here. And then you get the uh, 15 minute break after four sessions, typically. Um, I don't really follow that too much. I just do this. I do about four sessions a day. And you see here, you can show the task timer if you want to see that, just to have the countdown to remind you. So really cool options here um, to really kind of customize this deep work dashboard essentially for focusing on one thing at a time. And this is also really important for flow states that you do one thing at a time and you have this seamless way of prioritizing things and then flowing from one task to the next without having to think, oh, what am I doing and, and getting distracted. Um, so uh, the prioritization feature of the Eisenhower matrix is very important. And just how Slash works, you need to crush one task, you can move on to the next task seamlessly without having to make a decision during your day. So you can plan out your days with this tool as well, which is very important for, if you're, for high productivity. You got your light mode too, if that's your thing. And then this here is really worth studying because you know keyboard shortcuts can make things fun and interesting and people see you on your computer and they think you're some sort of wizard just because you can do things way faster than most people and uh, you know learn the keyboard shortcuts and uh, it becomes almost like second nature uh, which is important for flow as well. So that is slash. Uh, you can get it on their website. I think Google slash list you'll find their website. Um, it's a great tool. I think this tool is going to keep getting better and better because I, I'm always getting updates every week or two that they're adding all these new features. I think it's great. Uh, the guys behind this are doing a great job on this and I highly recommend trying it out. Slash, start slashing your to-do list and uh, really supercharge your productivity. And if you want to learn more about flow psychology, um, I'm linking to my flow psychology challenge below. Uh, gets into flow productivity and digital mindfulness and how to really crush productivity. Uh, you know, how to really dial into what you were born to do and remove the distractions, the digital ones especially, that suck your time so you can focus on things you're passionate about. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or you have any tips for, uh, you know, productivity, uh, hit me up in the comments with those and please give this a like uh, or a comment or a share. I really appreciate it. All right. Have a beautiful day. Bye.